back good afternoon and i hope inshallah ta'ala you get benefit from this lesson and uh, we are going to continue what we have uh, done last week uh, last week uh, uh, the previous teacher has mentioned unit number four and today inshallah ta'ala we are going to deal with unit number five unit number five as you can see which is about uh, email okay or writing an email uh, writing an email is uh, a very important issue in our daily life uh, especially nowadays so uh, you need to pay attention just prepare yourself by uh, open your course book and workbook and you have your exercise or notebook with you so let us start together the aims of this lesson inshallah ta'ala we are going so you are as a student inshallah ta'ala you are going to analyze the structure of an email so this is the first uh, aim and the second one is considering the rules for writing an email so there are some rules you need to be careful when you write uh, an email and the third point inshallah ta'ala you are going to uh, write an informal email okay so these are the our aims today and i hope you are going uh, to get a clear and a good idea so please open your course book page 10 course book page 10 all of you activity number one and here we have as a, a small discussion just I'm going to give you some uh, tips related to this um, question so here uh, usually we send emails as I mentioned in the introduction we send emails every day uh, sometimes you send it to a friend and sometimes to send it to someone uh, what we call it um, uh, private emails or for companies for the government for the teacher and for different people so writing an email is something we do it every day maybe uh, nowadays uh, as a student uh, like you in grade 11 you may not send emails uh, every day but I'm sure that after uh, graduation or after uh, grade 11 you are going to send emails to your teachers to your professors and uh, also to uh, after uh, maybe four three years you are going to send emails to the companies so it is very important sending an emails uh, what writing style do you use usually you have a style okay when you write an email to a friend is something different than write it to a teacher okay uh, it is something different when you write it to a company okay or, or to the government so each of them each of these style it has its own style so you need to be careful how to write an email to a friend to a teacher for example to a company or to a government and we are going to divide it, the email into two parts and inshallah we are going to deal to with these two parts uh, you can imagine that the emails are divided into formal emails and informal okay so we have formal and we have informal the structure or the, uh, the characters of each of them okay characteristics of each of them we are going to explain it later on so so this is as an introduction um, for uh, emails so let's skip this one and move on to the second part which is uh, activity number two so here we need to read these uh, sentences okay and decided whether they are true or false so here we have uh, sentences as you can see that we have uh, uh, about uh, so here we have four and four we have eight sentences we need to know which one is true and which one is false okay so according to your opinion of course according to your bag background because we have done emails in the previous years we have done emails starting with I think when we were uh, at grade five up to now so for more than uh, seven years you are writing emails so you should know uh, which one is true and which one is false let's start with a so uh, when you write an email you should so you should uh, this is as a main or a key word you should make sure that you send it to everyone 
So the email should be sent to everyone. Is that true? What do you think? Is that true? Of course, false. If you want to send it to your uh, close friend, you don't send it to the teachers, for example. So you send it to someone uh, specifically. So this sentence is false. The second one, check your spelling and punctuation. When you write, or you should, you should what? Check your spelling and punctuation. You know what does mean spelling and punctuation. Of course, this is true. And C, always use smileys to help the reader understand your message. What do you think about using uh, smileys? For example, faces. Okay? So, using faces in your email, you use it always. What do you think? Can you use always faces, for example, if you are angry? Huh? For example, you send it to the teacher or to the government or to, to the company. Of course, no, because it is what it is considered for as, uh, as what? As formal emails. So in formal emails, we cannot send smileys or faces. So we need, we need to be careful about that. S uh, D, you should not write horrible things about someone and send the email around so that other people can read it. Not write horrible things. Okay, about someone. So you don't write about someone's the negative or the backside of someone. Okay, in order to uh, just tell the others about him, this is what something inappropriate. So this is, of course, false. E, not write a subject line. It is not necessary. You know the structure, and we are going to deal with the structure of email. Okay, so this is, for example, the email. You start with what? Usually, when you write an email uh, using, for example, Gmail, okay, at the beginning here you have certain boxes, okay, starting with what? Uh, the one who is going to receive the email. We are going to receive. We are going to discuss this, uh, the style or the theme of an email later on. But just I'm giving you an idea, and then he a copy of someone or hidden one, and then you start your email with what? subject okay and then you have dear you complete it you complete the email okay so this is the email so is it necessary is it important to write the subject of an email what do you think if you send an email to the to uh, uh, a ministry of education let us say or uh, a company a well-known company so you cannot send an email without writing what a subject. No one will be interested to read your email. So uh, it is what necessary. Not write uh, this, a subject line, it is not necessary. No, it is necessary. So this is what false. And F, write out long sentences in capital letters. Okay, so write out long sentences so this is number one, in capital letters. So this is number two. So if you want, uh, when you write a very long sentence, okay, without follow stop, without stopping, this is, we call it what? Uh, in writing, we call it choppy sentence, or we call it very long sentence. So the reader cannot catch you. So writing a very long sentence is something we consider it what? As a wrong thing when you're writing an email. What about the capital letters? Writing in capitals, for example, when you write stop, okay, uh, you write it all in capital. Writing individual words or sentences, uh, in, uh, they consider it, or the writers consider it, or the reader consider it as you are shouting to him or to her. So uh, capital letters are only used uh, uh, at the beginning of the sentence, uh, the names, okay, of, uh, for example, a person, uh, a place. So as you know, the rule of using capital letter, but don't use all the uh, words or all the sentence uh, written in capital letter. So this is considered also as a wrong sin. So this is also F. G, not worry about correct grammar. What do you think? 
as I mentioned before, that we have two styles or we have two types. We have formal and informal. So this statement or this sentence, if you should you should you shouldn't worry about the correct grammar. Maybe we consider it correct in the informal writing, but in the formal writing, we consider this sentence as wrong. So you must okay carry or take care about your grammar. H, uh, think about who you are writing to and use appropriate language. Okay, so this is as what? As a very important issue here. If you want to write to your friend, you use your own vocabulary item. But if you want to write to the professor, for example, or a teacher or uh, uh, the government, any government sector, so you need to be what? Careful about the vocabulary item or your language. Okay, so this is, you need to think, so this, this is what a true sentence here. I hope this one is clear for you and you know why it is false and why it is true. Huh? So you need to know why it is false and why it is true also. So if we go to the second or the third, okay, the third, uh, activity. So the third activity is in your course book also, page 10. Course book, page 10. Let's move on. So here we have what? We have 10 rules, okay, in writing emails. So here we have 10 rules in writing emails. So if you want to write an email, you need to be careful about these 10 rules, okay? You need to have it in your mind while you are writing. Okay, you need to be careful when you write uh, and don't miss any one of them. Uh, most of them we have what we have covered it in the introduction, but just this is as a recall for you. Okay, uh, we are going to discuss it together. Okay, so number one is here think carefully about what you write. It is better to speak to someone rather than write it down where others can read it. Okay, so for example, if you want to contact someone and you have two tools, you have email, okay, or to phone him, to speak to him. If it is something arrogant, you don't, don't email him. If it is something arrogant, don't email him. Speak to him directly using your mobile phone. So this is the first rule when we use or when you write uh, email. The second point, keep your email short, okay? So this is number one, short sentences, okay? Short, it is just get the target, why you are writing, what do you need from him, okay? You need one, two, three, not, for example, very long, not, uh, don't use very long sentences, very short one, okay? Get to the aim directly. So this is the aim of writing an email. Make it short, okay, uh, in one or two paragraphs. In one or two paragraphs. So this is the second point. The third point, don't send your email to people who don't need to read it. Okay, don't send your, your uh, email to people who don't need to read it. Okay, if you want to send it to your friend, Ahmed, for example, don't send it to all of your friends. They, are, they may not be interested in what you are writing. Okay? You send it to Ahmed, that's enough. Don't send it to all. Okay? Sending uh, an email to a group of people, which is ne not necessary, is considered as something wrong. Okay? According to the rules that are mentioned here. <coughs> okay, number four, be polite. Then Think about who you are writing to and their relationship to you. A fr uh, let's say friend, family, or colleague. Be polite. So in here we have two vocabulary items regarding polite. We have polite and we have impolite. Okay? Polite and impolite. Okay, if you are a good person, a quiet person, so you are a polite one. Okay, you use what? A uh, very nice vocabulary item. Uh, you say, for example, sorry to someone, you are polite. 
man or woman. So this is what, the, what does mean polite. Think about who you are writing to and their relationship to you. Okay, so according to your relation to the, to the reader, you use your own vocabulary item and you use your own writing style. And this is very important. Huh? When you send it to your friend, you use your own vocabulary item, you, your, your own shortcut, for example. You use faces and so on. But when you send it uh, to an official uh, place, okay, so it is what you should be uh, polite. And the fifth one, pay attention to your spelling, grammar, punctuation. Okay, so this is very important in writing. Uh, and number six, as we mentioned before, don't write in capitals. Okay, the person reading will think you are shouting. Okay, if you use capitals, it means that you are shouting to him. If you want to just, um, let's say, uh, write an email and you want to mention that this statement or this word is very important, you just color it or make it in bold, okay, or underline it, but don't write it in capitals. Writing it in capitals is considered as something uh, wrong, or maybe other people, according to their uh, culture, they, 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 they consider it as something rude. Okay, don't use smileys. What we call it before is uh, using faces, for example, except in the most informal emails. The most informal emails, okay? So we have informal and we have formal. If you send it to your very close friend, so it's okay to use uh, faces, okay? Uh, eight, include a subject line in your message. It is the most important part of, the e of an email message. As we mentioned before, the subject is what is very important, the subject line. Nine, don't send confidential information, okay? A very secret, confidential, very important. For example, a password of, uh, of your bank account or your password into the, um, any password or your phone, mobile uh, password and any, uh, any password, it's, uh, Emails are not considered or are not private, okay? The last point is don't make emails high priority or arrogant, as we mentioned at the beginning. So if you want to speak to someone, don't write him, uh, him an email, just call him. So if your message really is uh, arrogant or important, use telephone. So these are the 10 rules that you need to be careful about it, huh? This, these rules are very important in your writing. You need to be careful when you use the, uh, or when you write emails. Here, this is something uh, not from the book, but you call it as a recall according to your own information when you write email, okay? I hope you bring your uh, exercise book or any notebook in order to, okay, differentiate between formal and informal uh, emails. So here we have formal, as we mentioned before, and we have informal emails. So th the same thing uh, is considered to the letter or email. So the same uh, thing here. Let's start with the formal. Okay, the opening uh, formula. So here, when you, st you want to start an email, you use dear, mister, or missus, and then plus the surname. Okay, or use dear sir or madam. So this is considered as what? As something formal, okay? Uh, the second one, which is on the uh, second hand, we have what if you send an informal uh, email or letter, you say hello, hi, and then the name. Okay, you said dear or plus the name, okay? Or hi there. So all of these are considered as informal uh, opening okay and then we have the structure letter or email the structure so we have two styles or two uh, structure the first one you can start your email by thanking okay thank you for your letter or email about this is a good introduction 
when you start you or a good start for the email or the letter uh, or, or you can say many thanks for your letter or email choose one okay so this is number one as a good start the second one I am writing to request information about so for example if you uh, contacting or just uh, asking your professor inshallah in the university later on okay you go directly okay dear sir and then you say I'm writing to request so this is what we call it formal uh, email don't say hi how are you I'm fine okay there is no private uh, words between you and the professor for example you go directly to the email I'm writing to request information about okay inform you about or complain about so all of these uh, vocabulary item are used in the formal emails okay a good starting also I'm writing with reference to your letter okay because he has sent you an email so you reply to him so I'm writing with uh, reference to your letter and number four here I would like to offer congratulations on if you want to congratulate him about something and the last one uh, let me congratulate you on so all of these are considered as a formal uh, structure letters or email okay uh, what we call it on the body huh? the body of the email or the body of the letter we use all of these vocabulary item or sentences uh, look at to the informal if you send it to your very close friend you said directly thank you for your letter or email thanks for writing to me okay as you can see here we have thanks but on the other hand we have thank you thank you is more formal than thanks if someone is very close to you you said thanks but if you don't know him or you made a gap a kind of respect okay you said thank you okay the second way he said thanks for writing to me it was great to hear from you again I'm writing to tell you about okay after greeting so after greeting you go to the why you are writing why you are writing to him an email or here okay so this is a good start for the body okay or you can say guess what guess what okay how are things with you asking about uh, your partner or your friend what is what is what's up okay how are you how was your holiday you asking uh, about uh, the health or something about regarding to your friend I'm sorry I haven't written for a while so all of these are considered as informal okay let's say that the final remarks okay so the email uh, as you can see how many paragraphs do we have in the email we have the as we mentioned here we have the opening and then you have why you are writing okay and then you have the final uh, remarks and then the closing the closing uh, formation or formula so here we have one two three four main things you should write four main things in your email starting with what okay dear sir or madam and then number two thank you for your letter or I am writing to you to tell you about so this is what the second paragraph and the third paragraph I look forward to hear from you okay without delay for example I'm looking forward to meeting you if you want to meet him or here I hope to hear from you at your uh, earliest okay so uh, just waiting for him or I'm waiting for the reply so or please respond okay so all of these are considered as the third paragraph but in the formal paragraph or sorry in the informal paragraph what we are uh, so what we write we write hope to hear from you soon look at to the vocabulary item it is uh, totally different from the formal and info looking forward to seeing you hearing from you I can't wait to meet up soon or write back soon 
So all of these are considered as what? Informal uh, style or sentences that you need to use it in the third paragraph in your email. Closing formula, what you are going to write in the fourth step, if you start with dear sir or madam, so if you start with dear sir or madam, what you write at the, at the end, okay, yours faithfully, this is the best thing for that. If you start with dear mister or missus, finish with yours sincerely, okay, or you can just write regards, best regards, kind regards, so all of them uh, are very good uh, conclusion, uh, okay? On the informal one, best wishes, love, all the best, okay? Keep in touch. So all of them are uh, for the, uh, all of these uh, uh, vocabulary item uh, can be used in the informal style, okay? So this is something not from the book, but here we, have, we go back to uh, the course book. Please go to your course book. Okay, page 10, oh, sorry, page 11. Page 11. So what we are going to do in this, uh, this uh, activity here, so read the following four emails. So here we have four emails, A, B, C, and D. Decided which of the rules in activity number three are being broken. So we mentioned 10 rules, okay? Which one, okay, are being broken? So what is wrong with that? What is wrong with that? Okay, let's go one by one here. Let's go to the first one, which is A. So uh, here, I'm not going to read uh, everything here, but just to tell you the main issue here. Uh, hi, mom. So, uh, who is uh, who is sending that email? Before reading an email, you should you should be careful about the first step is to. So the email is sent to sent to what to whom? To Reem, Huda, Najla, Amal, and Sarah. And then we have the subject, which is about what password. I don't know the spelling is quite wrong here okay so he start with hi mom okay I don't know what is here his mom uh, his mom's name but the one who is sending an email here we have Musallam Musallam is writing this email to his mom but he sent it to Reem, Huda, Najla, Amal, Sara, etc and the subject is about password let's see Let's read the, the, the body of the paragraph and what is wrong. We need to discuss what is wrong with that email. I arrived safely and I took some great photos on the bus. So he went to, some, some, uh, he went to a place. So he was uh, abroad and he get a great uh, photos. Auntie Muna and Uncle Omar, okay, meet me at the station and we were now and we are now at their house so now he's writing in the in uh, the email in what in his aunt's and uncle's house we are having dinner soon i don't like auntie's muna's uh, cooking but i uh, don't tell here i think that see you next week love uh, musallam so what do you think? This is formal or informal at the beginning? According to the vocabulary item that he has mentioned, the style, okay, uh, I think so. It is what? Informal. But what is wrong with this email? As you can see, the wrong thing is here. The writer is impolite. We have mentioned that he should, be, what? He should be polite. Here, the writer is impolite. Why he is impolite? Or, so why he is impolite? Yes, because he has mentioned his aunt in a wrong way. So it is better not to be written. If you don't like something, okay, don't tell the others about it. Okay, so this is which rule? Rule number one. Thank you. Okay, let's go to the second one. Uh, B here. Let's see B.
Dear Mr. Sanam, before reading the, the email, what we have done in the previous email, we need to do it again here. So it is to, to Ahmed, Sanam, and so on. So this is his email. And uh, there is no subject. You can, as you can see, there is no subject. So who wrote this email? Okay, Nail. Okay, head of sales, DWC Motors. Okay, so this is Nail. He uh, sent it to Mr. Salem, as you can see. Your new car is now in Oman. Please send me the money you own me. Okay, and here we have what? Uh, smileys. So, what do you think? Is this formal or informal? What it should be? This is informal, uh, okay? According to the style, according to the, uh, for example, here, uh, the smileys, or the smiley here, or the, the face here, okay? It should be formal. Why it should be formal? Because he, uh, Nile is what? The head of sales, okay? Of uh, DWC uh, Motors. He should write formal email to Salem. But look at, so this is number one, okay? He used what? Face. And then he used what he said? Please send me the money. As we mentioned before, if you see that vocabulary item uh, written in capital, what do you think? So what is it? As he is shouting to him. So as we mentioned before here, so the email should be formal, but the style is not formal. And also we have no subject use or uses what? Smileys. And we have also capital. So all of these are considered as wrong email. Okay. Look at to the C. I don't want to be uh, bored. Okay. Uh, let's do it uh, very fast. We have uh, two things here, or two emails. Uh, uh, as we mentioned before, so this is to mom. I have arrived. This is the subject. And then we have, hi, everyone. Okay. Uh, read after me. Okay. Read uh, very fast. I have now, now got my l internet connection, and you can see my new email uh, address from the email or from this email. It's great. And then we have this thing. I can or I can now send a message to all of you, okay, just in case I forget my password. And then he mentioned his password. See you at school. What is that? School tomorrow, yes. Uh, and then Khadiga. What do you think? So this is formal or informal at the beginning? It should be what? Informal because he is sending the email to what? To his mom. Okay, so look at the spelling. We have many spelling, what? Uh, spelling problem, including also bank situations. And we have confidential information. What is confidential information? We have the password, as you can see. So he sent the password, which is considered as something, what? Wrong, or something, uh, we, we mentioned that this is uh, not, private emails are considered not private look at to the d we need to finish this activity so here we have from ali hamad and then his email all teachers so the he mentioned all the teachers what, what do you mean by cc here the cc is uh, the second email the third email and the others emails so they are heading there so all teachers and then we have the subject senior teachers post so he's going to speak about the senior teacher or what is his comment, okay? So he said, dear Mr. Hamad. So he sent it to Hamad. He named it as Hamad, but he sent it to all the teachers, okay? I agree that we shouldn't give the job to Mr. Curl, okay? Or Mr. Curl, he doesn't always get to classes on time, so he's late. He leaves early. And he is very boring teacher. Look at this vocabulary item. He's being in a, maybe impolite or he's telling things that he shouldn't tell to the other teachers. I think Mr. Fleming is better 
or is a beta teacher. I'm having a teacher's meeting tomorrow, and I will inform uh, Mr. Carroll he is not going to get the job, Muhammad Ali. So this is what? Formal or informal? It, is, it, should, be, it should be formal, but look at the, uh, he's telling what sensitive information. Shouldn't be, it should be what? Private. You shouldn't tell the, 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 the others about uh, this sensitive information. I hope you have got a clear idea about this activity. And when you write an email, you should, uh, uh, you should but be careful about uh, the 10 rules that we have uh, mentioned it here. Let's move on, okay, to the workbook. Okay, and this is, I think, the last, uh, the last activity that we are going to cover it today, inshallah. So, uh, the workbook, page 10, okay. So here we have the formation of the, or the style of the, or for the, uh, the email. Okay. You have what at the beginning here? You have uh, some vocabulary item. You need to just uh, uh, label the diagram below. So we need to label these vocabulary items or these parts by just writing the numbers. Okay, so before writing the numbers, we need to take a look at this paragraph or this uh, email. Let's uh, see this one, maybe it's better. Yes, here. So this is the email. And here we have the vocabulary item. Uh, we have the vocabulary item that are mentioned here. Are we still in the note? Not in the note, yes. Okay. So here we have new message. We have forward, body of the text, send, sender, greeting, replay, uh, recipient, signature, replay to all, subject line, copy to CC, flag, and then we have the date. Okay. And maybe you have got all of them because you have got an idea about it or you have uh, a background about this uh, vocabulary item, but let's, let's do it together just to inform you what you should do when you write an email using your computer, okay? Uh, when you do it in the final exam, you shouldn't write it like this. What I mean, the, the, this book, okay, this book shouldn't be uh, in the final exam paper, but you just write, uh, Dear Professor Muhammad, directly, and then you go on to the, uh, the first thing. This is, we consider it as number one. This is number two, as we mentioned before. And then this is number three, which is the body. And this is number four, which is what? The conclusion. Okay, so you have four main things. You do it in the final exam, or if you want to write an email to your teacher, no need to just uh, to write these things, but uh, this is what we call it in the email or letter, okay, written by hand. But if you write it in the computer, you should what uh, fill these gaps, starting with the number one. Let's say with the number one, what is number one? Or let's say A, what is A? If you see this one or these, these books, okay, in the computer, it means what? A new message. Okay, what is it? A new message. So this is A is number one. Okay. Let's complete it here. Okay, so this is one. Uh, forward. The second one. What is it forward? Which one is forward? Okay. Oh, let's see B. What is B? B is number four, as mentioned here, which is send. So this is four. B is four. Okay. And then we have a number or letter C. We have it what? Number seven as a replay. So this is seven. Okay. We consider it as a, a replay. If you want to replay to someone, you use this icon. You just click it and then you replay to that one. Okay. And then D. What is D? 
Uh -huh. D is number two, which is what? Forward. Okay, we have forward now. We have number seven, we have done it. So also we have number four, number one is done also. Okay. And then we have C, where is C? The C is, has done. D, E, okay. And then E is number 10, is, has mentioned to you. So it is done for you, which is what? What is this one? Replay to all. Okay. F, what is that? F, it means what? The flag. Okay. So F is the flag, which is number 13. So this is the flag. And then we have uh, G. The G is what? The time or the date. Okay, so here we have the time or the date. It is uh, something we, you find it directly. Okay, and then H has been done to you, which is a recipient, the one who is going to receive the email. Okay. And then I, I is what we consider it as what? The CC. I, copy to the CC, okay, which is 12. Okay, I'm going to give you the, uh, the okay, the, the answers of all of this, uh, inshallah, at the end of the class, or just when we finished it. Oh, sorry. Okay. So here we have H, we have done I, it's skip, okay. So these are the answers because we, do, we don't want to lose our, uh, lo lose our time. So uh, number one has been done, uh, A is one, B is four, uh, C is seven, D is two, E uh, number 10, and then F we have number 13, G is 14, H is eight, I is 12, J is 9, K is 3, uh, L is number 6, M is number 11, and then you have N number 5. Okay, so this is number 5, which is the what? The sender. Okay. So this is the, what, what, what is the most important thing is you need to have a clear idea about the uh, let's say that the, 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 the starting when you start the email and then thank you for your greeting to host the regional conference in education in the uh, 21st century at the in institute or institution in May. So this is what, why he is writing or as an opening. Let's say this is as an opening, okay? This, uh, the first point is you need to mention what, dear, okay, to whom you send this email. And then you, you open the email, and then you start with what, uh, why you are writing to him. I would like to suggest that we, are, uh, we arrange a meeting for all staff who will be involved in the organization of the conference on Wednesday of the next week at 2.30 uh, p.m. and so on. So. Uh, paragraph number three is mentioning why we, why he wrote the email. And the last one, he is closing the email. I look forward to see or to seeing you then, yours, uh, sincerely. And then he mentioned his name. And this is, we call it as a signature. Okay? A signature of the email. I hope you have got a, a clear idea about writing an email. Okay? This is very important. And you are going to write an email. Uh, uh, the conclusion here, just to tell you uh, what is your homework for your teachers, you write these emails, you choose, okay, choose one of the message below, uh, this is on activity number two, workbook, huh? uh, page 11, so choose one of the message below as the topic for an email, okay, you are going to write, so you are going to write an email about what, so here you have different topics. You choose one, write it to your teacher in order to uh, correct it for you, okay? Using all the information that we have uh, mentioned here, 
let's give you or let us give you an idea or read some of these topics a message to your aunt thanking her for the money she gave you to buy some new clothes for the Eid okay so you send uh, an email to your aunt thanking her for the money so this is topic A for example if you are not interested in A go to B a message to your teacher explaining why your homework is always late okay it should be what formal of course it should be formal okay uh, you should use your the style which which we have mentioned at the beginning and then a message to a friend asking for information about a new computer game so you write an email about uh, gaming or just about a uh, game uh, asking him some uh, for some information and then d a message to a friend inviting him or her to your sister's or brother's wedding so you have a wedding very soon and you want to what invite uh, your uh, friend so you send him an uh, an email the last one a message to the blogger in unit 2 telling him about your favorite website so you choose a website tell him about it a blogger okay and uh, why do you think it is uh, your favorite so this is a good uh, choice also for you so the the style that you should write it as it is mentioned in activity number three as mentioned in activity number three on the same page page 11 okay you should write as uh, the style mentioned here so write your email message so if you go to page 102 you will get a clear idea that I have covered today all the things that I have covered all the things are mentioned in on page 102 so if you go to 102 you will get a clear idea also about writing an email so here choose a topic okay choose a topic about uh, one of these topics that we have uh, mentioned before you write it here for example you write it to for example your friend you write from from whom you write it so you, your email here to to your teacher for example the email of the teacher the date okay and then you have what the subject what is the subject okay what is your subject for example what do you want what do you want uh, to have as a subject and then you start dear okay with a comma and then you start your email as we mentioned before you have how many uh, main paragraphs okay so this is uh, consider as number and here we have another paragraph so this is paragraph one paragraph number two make it short okay and then uh, so this is two this is we consider it as one and then the closing one okay so you have four main paragraphs four main paragraphs I think this is the end okay of our uh, lesson today uh, this is all what I can say about uh, this lesson today inshallah ta'ala uh, just send an email to your teacher about the homework okay in order to correct it and give you a uh, good uh, feedback okay so this is all and inshallah ta'ala uh, we are going to meet you uh, next week inshallah ta'ala uh, be prepared and maybe you are going to deal with the uh, theme number two lesson number one or unit number one, inshallah ta'ala, with, our, uh, with uh, my college. All the best. Uh, thank you very much.